Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to On the Mic with the M. And T. Hey, today we're going to talk about sacrifice. And we're going to put it in the context of women do not like sacrifice. That's not what <laughs> we don't <laughs> like. Y'all don't want to sacrifice a goddamn thing. You want those Gucci bags. You want, the, you want all the good-ish. But when we tell you, listen, I got work this weekend. Y'all in your feelings. Why no, you work? We didn't, no, we're not in mm-hmm. our feelings when you told us it, okay? Mm-hmm. We're in our feelings on the weekend when it's time for you to go <laughs> to work. It's fine when you say it out loud. <sighs> it's just that it is uncomfortable to sit in the sacrifice. Mm-hmm. It's, it's just like working out. I want flat belly. Yes. I have to work out for flat belly. Absolutely. Right? Absolutely. It hurts. <laughs> yeah. I have to sit in the hurt. <sighs> Yeah, no, I wanted to go out with you this weekend. I wanted to go out to breakfast. And you told me you got to work. Yeah, but I also wanted the new car. Don't get me wrong. I did. And it's nice. It's nice. But I wanted to drive the new car with you to breakfast. Well. And we couldn't do that. No. So now I'm in my feelings. You're all in your feelings. And that seems to be prevalent whether you're engaged, be married, uh, friends with benefits, Friends, I don't have the status of anything. To, I'm just a woman. This is how I feel. That's how women think. Women yes, think that way. Yes, And it takes some maturity. Okay. It takes some maturity. But when does that maturity kick in? I'm, I don't know. I, I mean, I don't, it's different for all women. It's different okay. for all women. Okay. I'm not sure. And, and the different situations, too. Okay. Right? Like, okay, I might be able to get used to you working on weekends. Right? Okay. Okay. But let's say you have to travel more abroad, mm-hmm. right? Mm-hmm. True. Because that's the nature of the business. I don't know if I can get used to You know what? <laughs> I, I think, I, see. I'm just you, saying, I, that, certain things are harder to get used to, okay. but it might also afford different lifestyles. Exactly. That it comes with. Exactly. Now, here's the other thing. I think. As a man, a lot of women think that if you're spending that much time and working, you can't be working that hard. You can't be out there, I got to work every Saturday, and you got you to go overseas and all that. Why can't I go with you when you go overseas? First of all, why I can't come with you is right. You can't come because it's a business trip. I can't this write you off on a business <laughs> trip. This, I can't write you off on my business. When my expense, port go, expense report goes in, you can't say, well, Oh, I see it's you and your girl. They're not going to pay for me to eat today. Uh, no. In <laughs> fact, you may fuck my bag up because you may send, you keep sending, you you and this woman keep going okay. and shit. So, so maybe that's fair that the women can't travel with the men all the time. And perhaps if you're putting up a fuss, maybe after how many times? Because you're, you, it's going to happen. It's yeah. the nature of the woman. Maybe after the fifth time, if you're still doing it, mm-hmm. then there's a problem. Hopefully, this is not a married couple. Hey, a lot because, of times it is married couples. Okay, well, stop. Because this is a whole trust <laughs> issue then. Because this is like after the fifth time, we've established that this is what we're doing as a married couple. Mm-hmm. Right? Mm-hmm. Because hopefully, we've established a certain level of trust as married people. Hopefully. Hopefully. Man. That, yeah, no, nah, you can't come on all the work trips. Technically, I don't. I mean, let, let's just be honest. Let's say I'm the person who has the work trips. Exactly. I don't want you there on all my trips. And because I don't want to go to your goddamn trips. I just a little bit of mental space because it's my trip. It's not no our trip. But this is my that's trip. You. Yeah. <laughs> that is true. But now, let it be your trip. This is not no, this is not your trip. This is for, like, why I can't come back? I'm just telling you to, yeah. See, I'm just being honest. And that's not fair. That's it's not, not fair. fair. But I do need the mental break, but you don't need a mental break. You know what? See, <laughs> see, see how that, we did? That, that's the reason why Isn't that we the got truth? the problems we got right now because everyone wants to say my my particular thing is more important than your yeah. particular thing. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. And, and then why is that? I don't know because I don't get to wear your shoes. Absolutely. So how could I know how the world wears on your shoulders as a man? How do I get to know? Technically, you don't say much to me about how the world, you know, comes at you. And so all I really know, because I like to talk a lot, too. So I didn't tell tell my mama how the world treated me today. I didn't call my sister. I 
done talked your ear off because I forced you to listen. Then I done called the kids into the room to tell them how life treated me today. Yes. So I know exactly what I'm going through and how heavy my life is. I just don't exactly know what you're going through outside of maybe your work, maybe one or two work encounters, not even your whole work day. No. And here's the thing. As a man, we didn't want, we really want to talk to you about work mm-hmm. because to us, it's like we want to leave that. That fuck shit with work. Yeah. We want to come home. We try to separate the two. We mm-hmm. want to say work is work, home is home. Yeah. And when I come home, I want to find what's going on with the family, with you and everything like that. I don't want to tell you, oh, this dumb motherfucker didn't turn in a report and then yeah. I had to stay afterward and do all this. Because first Aww. of all, you're like, oh, wow. But you, in your mind, I don't really give a fuck about that. I can, I can you come I here and eat? I don't care, but you're making, I mean, I do care, but you're making us like, like to eat dinner. We're hungry now. And See? you talking about some, you had a late expense report and like, was it that offensive? Like I couldn't get that together. I, I, we just don't know. We, we just don't. don't know. You don't, yeah. but we have to burn. And, then, and that the burden. other part of that to us is like, is that conversational or did like that, did that like really offend you? Because all emotions are different. Real different. Real different. Cause we're already fucking irritated by the time yeah. we got home late. We're yeah. already irritated. We're not going to look in our face. We're going to just kind of suck it up. You never wear it on your face too much. No. Yeah. The no. kids coming in the house and you looking like the world took life out of me. That's what women. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. We can't look at it. Fuck this kid one. Oh yeah. Hey son, what's going on? How you doing? You, you all right? Yeah. Okay. Good. Yeah. Go on. Go on play. Daddy's uh, got here. God damn it. Can uh, I get a breath? Can I get a breath of fresh air? Yeah. Can I take no, my fucking towel? No, you can't come in like that. You <laughs> no. Come in like that. No, you got to come and hug Super him and kiss dead. him. All that. Yeah. And, and in your mind, you're like, I oh, don't. Fuck. This is this is a lot. I just really, we really just want to come home and we have a basement. Just going around to the basement, close the door uh, for a few hours okay. and then come back up. We know we can't do that. Yeah, no, you can't do that. It's just the carefree attitude, I guess, sometimes makes it look really good. I think I mentioned that before in another podcast. Mm -hmm. It it just makes, like, y'all lifestyle look really easy going. So Mm -hmm. for us, it's like... What free work trip? Why why wouldn't I be going to get like this free <laughs> downtime so I can get my zen on, you know, while he's at work? Cause clearly he needs to go to work while I'm vacationing. Yeah, clearly, <laughs> you know, like, I gotta get paid so, while I'm sitting here enjoying my <laughs> zen for a moment and and all the things I'm putting on the damn room while we're here in Hawaii and having Pretty a great much. goddamn time. Pretty well, much. you're having a great goddamn time. Me, because you're I'm still working. at work. I'm still at <laughs> fucking work the whole goddamn time, and people don't understand it. And that's that's just from a, a a family. You're married and you got mm-hmm. connection. Mm-hmm. That's that dynamic. But look at these people who are just dating. Look at the dynamic with them. Because now there's a there's a connection because you're married, you're a union, and all that. Yeah. You're just dating. We're just dating, and and I accept that lifestyle. I'm well, I deal with that lifestyle because in the beginning, it's, ah, it's not gonna be that bad. He, you know, he's not gonna be because in it, to me, it seemed like in women's head. He'll make a change. He'll see that yeah. I'm not happy, and then he'll make a change and yeah, come back on his. He'll cut back those hours and spend more time with me yeah. and all that. But you're thinking about feelings. But I still want more stuff. Are you going? We, we think about <laughs> the goddamn money, producer. What are we thinking about? You're thinking about money. You're thinking about fucking infrastructure. You're thinking about all oh, the dates that you're trying to go on. You're thinking about oh, if I'm trying to secure a future, yeah, I might be trying to get a better place. So I gotta, I gotta build. And if I'm trying to build and every in every instance I'm trying to build, it's now becoming another inconvenience mm. because now every time I go to build something, you're sitting there looking at me like, oh, why you got to go do this? Or why are you oh, not here for more. that? Or I need money for this or I need I money need for more. that. So eventually what you say is like, all right, look, if that's that's cool, but then don't, you're not going to see me for three weeks. Because I got to get shit done because you want these things. So then it's, oh, you don't ever spend time with me. See, you're going to go find some other nigga. Some other nigga who has all the time in the world to deal with your crazy ass. Yeah, which is great. They have all the time and the money. And okay. who got that? Who got both? I just, I mean, you tell, I was asking you, that was a real question. Nobody. The women you, need to know. Yeah, listen, men, listen, y'all. <laughs> like, real men either got money or t- money. They got money, they ain't got the time because they're spending the time working trying to build the True. infrastructure. Because True. if they're sitting up on you, you babe, what you want to do today? <laughs> what you want to do today? I got all the time in the world. You should be very fucking concerned that this guy spending more time with you than getting some getting work. And then what's going to happen is eventually, <laughs> you know, baby, 
you know, I only got that little part time gig, you know, and I need some cigarettes. So yeah, because too much time is is that's 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 gonna end up making us sad as well. Absolutely, who giving you way too much. <laughs> See, we fickle. We real fickle. See, see again. You want your oh cuddle, yeah. cuddle. Oh yes, baby. Please come hold me tight. Yes, come close. Yes, all night, right? Until you go to Amazon. So let me order Amazon. Can I use your card, baby? Well, like, if I was what? you, I wouldn't use that card because like, ain't no money on that card. No, no, ain't mm-hmm. no money on that card because you know, baby, what you, you know, about? I ain't gonna work that. Remember that last week I stayed with you? We was in the bed, cuddled up, and all hugged no, up and I don't shit. Remember that? Well, you, yeah, uh, you remember because you no. told me what, you, when you going to work. I told you, baby, don't worry about work. Remember I said that? Don't worry about <laughs> no, work. No, I never said don't worry about work. Oh, you must not hear me. <laughs> so now that's you're like, asleep. the fuck? Like, that's, that's when the cuddle was too good. She done See? fell asleep, done ignored the man. Dang yeah, you ladies, go. wake up. Be better. Ladies, wake up. Get about it in beds with them men. And um, be uncomfortable and be sad and then, while they at work. <laughs> and, and, you know, the thing is, if you're dating a guy who you fucking know don't have a business that he's making money while he's sleeping. Yes, you know where the you money know he don't, don't come from. Yes, you know he works somewhere that he has to be in there yeah, physically he's to do the work time for money. Absolutely. And now he's laying in there in the bed with your ass yeah. for a whole week, two for weeks for his time, and you ain't got no money to give him because you want the money from him. Exactly. Yeah. So you giving all the good goodies. You, yeah, yeah, you giving the goodies. Yeah, you giving the goodies. And, and he's smiling, taking the goodies, and now, but your bank account's still low. And getting lower mm. every day. So at some point, that little love fest you got yeah. ain't gonna be so lovely. Uh, it's gonna be it's gonna become uh, very fucking ugly real quick. Ooh. So I, I this fantasy about all the time in the world and all that, we just don't have it. We really well That's not necessary. men don't ha- real men don't have it because real men is handling that shit. Boys got all day in the world. They'll drop your car Stop with your it. insurance, on, using baby, your boy. money, yeah. <laughs> taking your shit, talking about, girl, we went low in milk today. I guess we get off from work. Now, mind you, this motherfucker ain't working nowhere, but mm-hmm. you know, when we get off work, we got to stop get some milk. We ain't got no milk. I had, I had to put water in, water, water in my Cheerios and shit. <laughs> <laughs> we had no milk. Now, that little bitch was there all day long. They couldn't even afford to go fucking get milk. And the sad part is, it's like, there's a lot of women who, who do the exact same thing, and it's considered okay. But it's like, you should never be fucking useless in a relationship. <laughs> like, if I can, if all no, you're good no. is, if all you're good for is, like, no cap, if all you're good for is the dick or pussy you provide, I'm bro, I, I can just go buy it. <laughs> <laughs> I can just go buy it, for real, for real. Oh. If all you're good for is, your, is the sexual organ which you provide, those can all be purchased for way cheaper than it would be for you to sit up in my house, eat up all my fucking food. Oh. Just don't be fucking useless oh, in a relationship. That's no. fair. That is that's that's in a nutshell. That's in a nutshell. Do you know how many feelings you just stumped on, producer, by saying that? You know how many people? Man, fuck oh. these niggas. You feel some type boy. You feel some type boy. Like I. Oh I, man. We've done this shit long enough. Like a lot of the, a lot of people are just functionally useless in a relationship. If you, you as a woman, right? Let's, mm-hmm. let's, mm-hmm. ladies, y'all will find a guy who makes money, be up under his grundle, all up under his nutsack because mm-hmm. you want to be there, mm-hmm. but then mad that you got a sacrifice that you blow him. But it's like, yeah, that's where you decide to slot yourself. You found a guy who made money. Guess what making money means? Making money means that he has to sacrifice a lot of his free time to make said money. Mm-hmm. So when he tells you, I can hang out for three weeks, he means I can't hang out for three weeks because I got shit planned. Mm-hmm. But that's not okay because I don't ever see you all the time. Right? But if I do invite you to the things in which I'm working, then you're so mad that I don't spend time with you because, yeah, you're here, but I don't have time to give you one-on-one time yet because I just brought you to my work. But why did you take her to work? Because obviously you're mad that you want you don't spend time with me. So you're like, well, let me go with, let me go with you. To work? Fine. To see what you do. Who because, does that though in real the, life? Well, you know, some women yeah, are I secure. Just, oh, I was just, I didn't know that. Because a lot of women. Guys yep, and there, there's, some, there's a lot of guy boys that think that same way. Okay, well, what type of jobs are these? They well, could be anything. They could be a. Um, so let's say, so let's say you're doing cosmetology. Yeah, no, shop life is different. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah, but if you if you do hair, nails, makeup, whatever. Like, yeah, there's going to be time we have free time to sit around and there's going to be time we have to actually work. 
if you are a barber. At time, yeah, that's that's the time shop you life. Outside if of you, shop life, though. If you, What's the occupation? <laughs> so let's say you're doing um, IT, right? You can get away with that with IT, especially if you have a centralized location. If, like, you do all your stuff out of one hub room, you could easily have anybody with you. So now you literally multitask in a computer and you're a girl. You would have to. Because yes. obviously, the time in which I gave yeah. you wasn't enough. So now I have to, I can't leave my job to give you time. And the time I'm giving you isn't enough. So now you have to either land in the time in which I'm also working. Okay. Or you have to be okay with the time that you already got. The only occupation that this is okay for. Okay. Mm-hmm. I'm just going to say it. Mm-hmm. This is chef. Yeah. You can, you can go to your man's job if he's a chef, and you can get a table by yourself if he's a chef. Absolutely. And they True. can send food over to you. But outside of that, what are y'all doing? There's nothing else. What are you there, doing? There's, there's, and it's what are you crazy. Doing? Stay at home. But there's a lot Stay of people. Home. Well, think about it. And that's women. A shop life. That's the, not a barber shop. No. You can't be the lady with all the men inside the room. <laughs> Tell mamas to sit here in the waiting area and, and join in the conversation. No, you're no, not. No, you're no, damn sure not, not going to do that. Please get you a son and get him in somebody's barber chair and get him in. <laughs> But you know, I think, and I think the other thing that we don't talk about is if a guy is working that hard and he's missing, I think y'all think he's probably fucking around. No, 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 no. You think he's fucking around because at some point he was fucking around. And so now you don't know when he actually is fucking around or when he at work. And that's what shot relationship did. That's not, you know, what the woman necessarily did with it. That's what you and she did. You know, oh. you decided to maybe enjoy, you know, the field while you, you know, you had pledged your loyalty to her. Mm-hmm. And then she decided to forgive you. Mm-hmm. Right. And but not quite forgive you enough to give you the trust to, you know, maintain a lifestyle outside of her, you know, bothering you about if you at work or if you with another woman. Wouldn't it be just easier just to break apart? That's, yeah, that's what I'm saying. So that's twofold. Because yeah. she decided to, no, nah, I'm going to go back and play this game with this man. And you decided to be like, yeah, come on back. Let's do this. Why are we doing that for? And that's what most people are literally out here doing. Absolutely. And that's why when it's like, nah, you got all this time away and you want to go, you know, gallivant around the uh, United States. Or, nah, I'm coming too. Because I don't know who all up in that hotel room. See, <laughs> and, and, and it's weird you said that. That's to check up on you. That is got weird that you said you. that. And because... when you go out of this country, you know, I got some <laughs> passport ready. That got is. to check up on you. You can have no international hoes on my watch. <laughs> See, uh-uh. and, and this, that is so. <laughs> True, I was watching a show where a, guy, uh, a lady they were they they weren't married, but they were dated for ten years, got two kids, uh-huh. and the, which was even more weird, right? Yeah, really weird. the The girlfriend said, and she told the judge, "I went for my yearly exam, what women go through, and found out I had chlamydia." And she, she added a test to her yearly exam. That yearly and, exam is just and, a Oh, <laughs> and I said, oh, and she said, I knew he played around on me. She said, the judge said to her, like, and looked at the guy and said, you know that was trifling, right? He said, what are you talking about? She said, no, no. You have to understand, when women get in them stirrups for mm-hmm. those examinations, mm-hmm. she said, it is not pleasant. Yeah, that's what she said. Now, let's just do this all at once. Yes. You done made me come in from my annual. Let's go ahead and add some more things in there. Yeah. And she said, all they get once they finish is a piece of paper. And do you imagine, can you imagine reading that piece of paper and said chlamydia? Mm-hmm. Something she, could, she couldn't get on her own. She, mm-hmm. You gave it to her. She said, so bad enough you played around on her. But then you're going to bring something back and give it to your wife? That's just goddamn that trifling. I just want to share, share with you what I found. Since we share everything else, we share a house, we share a home, we share kids, wow. we share money. <laughs> wow. So share a million wow. with you too. I mean, I fuck mean, it. But I don't understand what you thought was going to happen. Y'all not even married. Is y'all even in a committed, loyal relationship? Well, I mean, they've been together for know. 10 years with two kids, one, eight, one, five. You sound like we play games. Oh, uh, yeah. Because they, they was on divorce like, court. I don't know why they were on divorce court. No, but everybody on divorce court's not married. Well, yeah. no one on divorce court is married. <laughs> yep. They're, like they're, they're there. Like, but wow, they did. Do you think we should get married? Yeah, no, no. No. Please leave. The please judge leave. told her, told them, no. Co-parent, you're too, you're too good, much a goofy. 
And the girl, you just too damn soft and too goofy also to be accepting this. And after 10 years, you don't know if you really want each other. Go y'all separate ways and just co-parent. Because this is terrible. And he, the guy had this goofy ass look on the face and I thought she was going to tell me something different, Yana. She said, you gave her chlamydia. And then he said, well, she cheated too. She said, tit for tat. She said, so you, you slept with someone and you brought something home. She slept with someone, but did she give you anything? No, Yana, she didn't give me nothing. But see, she, but you know, I, I guess I guess you look at it both ways. You know, I gave chlamydia and she didn't give me nothing. So I guess I guess she, I got the best of the stick. She was like, okay, y'all, just just co-parent, come up with some agreement and, and move sadness. on. That but that's just one of millions. That's just a, a small, teeny grain of sand uh-huh. of one relationship, which is many in this United States uh-huh. and around the world. So as we sit there and I look at look at this fuck shit. That fuck shit is happening Everywhere. every goddamn day, yeah. uh-huh. constantly, with kids involved. So, again, that they, they 85 year old got to deal with this aftermath. And who the hell know what that's going to be like? She going to bring somebody in. He going to bring somebody in. So now these poor kids grow up and see this imbalanced shit and think it's normal. And they'll go out there and do the imbalanced shit mm-hmm. because they saw it all their lives. And now everybody thinks it's normal shit. But then you just perpetuate the same fuckery in the next generation. So they don't learn from it. It's all right. My mom, my mom and dad did it. So it must be normal. And them two stupid motherfuckers, they're going to tell them, don't do what we did. Yeah, yeah. You know, we, we did But it. even if you tell children that, they can't not do it. They just do what they know. And what they see. Yeah. They so, see. They know what they saw. Exactly. Yeah. So I don't know why do you go through all, why do women allow themselves to get pregnant and go through this fuckery? Hmm. Because again, you can go through this fuckery and not have kids. But then along the way, what this young lady said, well, yeah, he played around early, but we were young. Okay, you start at 18. Mm-hmm. You're now 28. He started at 21, now 31. And y'all still doing the fuckery because he played around on it like a year before. So it wasn't like it was when he was 18. He did this shit when he was 30. So at, at what point... Do we just say we get on this? Or let's stop. Let's tighten up. Let's be serious about this. Let's actually seek out some counseling to actually put us on a proper. I mean, it all boils down to the choices that we make in every day. Are we going to continue to play this little game? Like, are you going to continue to hear this woman's mouth every time you want to make a move and go do something or advance y'all? Are y'all going to real life sit down and, you know, tighten up, mature, mature for something better? And, and T, you know, here's the, the thing that I talks about. Women and men never forget that hurt. You deal with it. You say, let's put it behind us and move forward. Mm -hmm. But in actuality, you don't put it in the back. It's really kind of like in the the middle of your mind because what you're going to think, what I assume people think is if the motherfucker did it once, he'll do it again. So now there's always a level of mistrust in that relationship moving forward well because more of that. than the mistrust now it's just kind of create this sense of biasness in your you know dealings with them wow so now you know how you how you view the way they're going to move has now changed because you know that they are capable of certain things that you know maybe when you first linked up with somebody you really had your own idea of who they were mm-hmm. right because mm-hmm. most of the times you get their best being that they've presented absolutely and then you've you know you've had your own like fantasy about who this person really is and then you take that and you fuse that into being the best person mm-hmm. right absolutely and then when you move about with someone in the relationship right mm-hmm. the lies occur whether they be the white lies or mm-hmm. the lies for whatever reason the deception comes in, you know, Mm -hmm. I'm going to deceive you for whatever reason. You're going to deceive me for some reasons and whether it be, you know, big means of deception or small means of deception. You know, we both, we're we're involved in this exchange where we're slowly but surely peeling off those, you know, outer layers to kind of reveal exactly who we are. Mm -hmm. Um, But ultimately, once we start to realize who each other is, are we are we still accepting that? There <laughs> lies the issue because I think so many people don't have the training necessary to really 
put that in its proper perspective? Because okay. where do you learn that from? Where do you learn to overcome your hurt and yeah. overcome, you know, somebody did this to me? Because yeah. your, your immediate reaction is, you hurt me, I'm going to hurt you. Yeah. Or it's to leave. Should be. Yeah. It should well, be. Well, no, ultimately, we end up getting hurt and eventually, you know, you hurt that person back. Mm-hmm. You stay in silence and you're like, you know, I'm just living a lifestyle or you end up leaving, whether mm. it be the male or the female. Yeah. And like we said before, the female ends up leaving, especially if she's, you know, older children. She ends up not remarrying. She doesn't end up finding a mate. And why is that? It's a lot of women who have kids and net well. Probably a lot of them never got married in the first place. Just got mm-hmm. kids. Mm-hmm. And then you see them later on you're like, God damn. There's some people I know, I've never seen with a man. He got a gang of kids, but he never had a man. You know, a man had to be around. But I'm thinking, God damn, all these years, motherfucker. Because none of the man? niggas who was fucking her thought she was worth it. Damn. Well, it's not even that they didn't think that she was worth it. She even didn't think that she was worth it. Oh. Because it's like the very, like like we said, I don't know if y'all remember in podcasts several, like, for like a year ago, right? Mm-hmm. I'm not going to pursue but so far mm-hmm. with someone who I don't think is like marriage material yes like that is me. very true yeah so the hell with what he thinks about me right yeah I'm also looking for someone who is marriage material right mm-hmm. who will make a good husband a good provider a good leader in the household mm-hmm. you can't sign up to have multiple fathers Multiple mm. children mm. with different fathers in real life say, no, I was looking for a solid leader for my life. Because the children are like that product, right? Yep. But they're not what you showed up for. When I come to sign up with the man, I signed up with that man to secure me. Mm-hmm. And not to sound selfish or stingy or anything like that, mm-hmm. but the hell with them kids. I don't even know these kids. <laughs> That's They're true. Not even here. Mm-hmm. What kids? Yes. When the true pursuit of you seeking out a proper mate and partner, when we really talk about it, mm-hmm. there are no children. No. So I need to know that this man can sustain me. Mm-hmm. But you just looking to have a good time? Well, you know what the byproduct of the good time could be? And that is kids? Hmm. So now he got to figure out how to take care of me and the kids, and you ain't even Ooh. figured out how he going to take care of just you? Oh, yeah, no. yeah. And that's what's happening. No, I am I can't talk. To, you don't even have a halfway decent job. How I'm talking to you. How are we having oh. a good time? And it's no shade to say that you can't have a good job. There's no say that you can't go out and get proper training, get a proper trade, finish your degree, go back to school, do what you're supposed to do, work your way up through the company. The fact of the matter is that you're not. Yep. So why am I signing up with you? And you allow yourself to be put in a position that you're going to have a byproduct, a kid, yes. in this relationship. And when it doesn't work out, you're surprised. You're yeah, shocked. No, this is the person who, no shade, Facebook message friend, <laughs> Instagram message. Yeah. Like, if he don't have it right now, yeah, wait for him to get it. Because you lay down and give up the whole everything. The bag and everything. The bag, the goodie bags, all that. And there's nothing. Zero. Like, how he picking you up from the hospital with Wait, the baby? Oh, bro. That means he got to have your car. No, he don't. <laughs> he got to have your car. He ain't got shit. Like, that's the weird part. It used to be that the women dated because they ain't had shit. I would. Like, yes, what? it used to be that I, way. I, I, you can't use my car because I don't even have a car. <laughs> how about that? How about that? I don't have no damn car. <laughs> shit. You pick me up with your money. You pay for the. I don't have nothing. I have nothing. Uh, no, no. What no. ladies are finally experiencing <laughs> is what's called gender equality. Uh, uh, no, I'm, I'm familiar. Uh, I'm familiar. Uh, no, this and is I'm the, very this is what equally going to sit in your passenger looks like. damn seat. <laughs> and I'm going to equally push out your baby that you never even got inserted into your 
None of your tubes or wounds or nothing. <laughs> That's how equal this shit about to be. Oh I mean, my god! Wait, yeah. wait. The balance is, is that if ladies can, that if ladies can whip my car, I can whip my girl's car. So if I listen, I don't have head, no car. The hell with all that. Well, you got I kids, right? You got a car. car. Yeah, no. <laughs> car. Yeah, your car. That's yeah. whose car I got. Your car. That's whose car. What my mother well, said. Oh, oh, Tamara. Um, I think you got a ticket down at the MVA because she and I shared the same name, right? No. She tried it, right? She first of all, she you too old to try to blame your tickets on me. Oh. I said first of all, <laughs> no, ain't no car no. even registered in my name. Oh. You got no car registered in your name. Never had no car. Get out of here, oh, Mom. No, wrong no, with you? no. Don't drive that man's car. What are they? What are y'all doing? They're doing it every day, T. They're out there. I mean, my car's in my name now, though, y'all. Just for, <laughs> just for the fucking record, y'all. Damn, damn, damn. It, it's first fucking baby. Crazy. Fuck, yes. First date. We're not driving my car. You said twenty something. And the. But, you lucky if the Bama have to have a license. At a lot 20 of, something. Mm, mm. This, this is a sad. This is a sad group that's going Mm-mm. on now. How is it sad that now ladies got to actually take point? Like, how's that? A, how's that a problem? Well, well, listen, when all women, said, women are empowered, y'all to start do empowering to do. push a baby out of your hoo and put a baby up to your nip, and something comes out of it, and it's nourishing. That's when I'm going. Here you go, my car keys. Here you go. Well, see his thing. <laughs> That's something that we actually <laughs> physically <laughs> together cannot no, do. No, but I, I, we can share the bills. We can share the car. We can share the electricity. We can share the ladies. The hell with yeah. all what they Me talking and about. The kids, <laughs> what you <laughs> like dinner? Nah, damn that. Them kids are going to cook that. Home. That's, that's <laughs> number one. The PlayStation <laughs> turned off. They said the electricity bill and get paid. We ain't going to pay that shit. Yeah. Nah, damn. Yeah. Welcome to, welcome we to, to true gender shit. equality uh-uh. in 2023. Uh-uh. Hey, I'm going to show y'all better I, than I can tell y'all. No, hey. I'm not doing that shit. And it, y'all and like, they're Fucking doing it on a regular, crazy. and you wonder why these men are so fucking soft. Oh, my fault. Why these boys so fucking soft? Because you are now uh, they are a child. Because no. there's no. Let me just say this: there's no real man that's gonna sit back and allow you to do every fucking thing. He's not. It's not going to because it's uneasy. It's uncomfortable it for a real man I to mean, say, like, "I'm sitting back and let my girl do everything." Like, like, nah, she could just pay for her own everything. She could just pay. What? what? She gonna pay for her own? Like, and I know the relationships can get to where they go, mm-hmm. right? I'm talking about in the beginning, how you get her. Uh, well, and, and we going Dutch within the first year. How's that even possible? <laughs> Somebody told me that you go Dutch by the third th- by the third date. Yeah, oh. so I don't get taken advantage of. So, so you don't get taken advantage. I'm the one who gets taken advantage of. I'm the one who got the twat between her legs. Why are you getting to take? Ain't nobody bending you over? No. Okay, but it's never. Fa- it's ladies, never. Ladies, when no. they bring it to a relationship, now. is they coochie. And no, I didn't bring no just no coochie. No, you didn't bring, you bring. just that's your money. But your I guarantee. T- no, it's, it is a good apex. <laughs> that's your apex. <laughs> That's like the that's the when I see a you woman and I'm like, hey, man, I'm gonna date her. I'm trying to jocks. get in that box. Yeah, yeah. pull yeah. the coop yeah, out the box. Yeah, that box about to cost you a whole big. Exactly. Box. So I'm yeah. yeah. dropping the bag so, on it. So yeah. 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 you yeah. ain't done dropping the bag either. But no, here's the thing. this is what till death is, do us part. You got your friend, you'll see it inside of me, and then think that this is the end. You kept your money. First of all, I need joint bank accounts. I need my card. I need access to your card. Yeah, give me my key. Oh, this is getting crazy that there's no proper requirements to have access my body. Because you What's are, going on you out here? What type is? of bodies is going on out here? That yeah. means you're trading your commodity for another commodity. And you're hoping that your commodity is worth the putting out there. Wow. No, say that sentence one more wow. time. It's, it's literally a universal sentence. You're hoping your commodity is worth the commodity which you're trying to purchase. Mm-mm. Because if I'm signing my dollars out, Mm-mm. right, and I'm paying for for us to go on dinner dates, I'm paying for us to go to the movies, I'm paying for us to go on these things. My hope is that by the time this is all paid off and shit, that when I sign up in that 
in that box that I'm going oh, crazy. It's, it's, that yeah, I'm actually happy going, going crazy. crazy. Yeah, nah, you're going to be happy. You're going I'm, crazy. I'm going to be hoping that that's the, that's the end goal. Yeah. But if you hit me with the, nah, not tonight. <laughs> <laughs> I'm tired. I don't feel good. That's that. Well, I'm saying hit my stomach right now. My head hurts. Oh, my screen. My head hurts tonight. <laughs> yep. I'm just saying I feel that. Old. My, my God. God. I ate something that I'm allergic to. <laughs> Now I'm sitting here thinking, I just spent $300 on this. What the fuck I got to show for oh, that? Okay. What? So oh. then you see guys who will go like, nah, fuck all that. And I, I'll be wow. where the fuck we dropped you off at. The wow. last location uh-huh. we was at. <laughs> like, like, I'll let you at the movie theater where you can go ahead and call an Uber. And you come pick you up and take your ass home. I just spent $300. I ain't got shit to show for it. <laughs> so that's yeah. why they say we go Dutch on the third date because guess what? At the very least, I show, hey, you at least financially committed in this relationship. No. All right, cool. No, we're not going no Dutch by no third date. I'm sorry. And see. For the facts. For the facts of life. For the facts of life. For the facts of life. Come on now. Come on. Goddamn, if that dude's spending two, three, four, five hundred dollars on you. How is that the third date you spending two, three, four, five hundred dollars on somebody? Two, three, four, oh, five hundred dollars. Oh, compa- like you're adding it up. Yeah, you goddamn right. Brother, hey, right we you are. don't close this damn door and call me a fucking Uber and stop playing with me. I'm a god of this <laughs> bitch. Oh, broke ass, cheap ass, wanna be ass. Y'all got me bent for two, three hundred dollars. Think I'm giving out what? Uh-uh. Bitch, where you at? Girl, come pick me up. He done drop me off on the side of Route One. I'm out here waiting on you. Shit. Had to pull my little split by the yeah. Yeah. Me bent. yeah, nah, drop a bitch off because y'all got me messed up. <laughs> nah, I ain't doing it. You ain't hey, putting out hey, shit. See, I ain't putting out shit, neither. Let me tell you, because nah. we're planning on uh-uh. that shit. We're going to yeah. look at you. Yeah. We're going to say, oh, yeah. Yeah, you better, you want to enjoy the view. All that shit. But, All that <laughs> See, so. <laughs> see, <so, laughs> again, this is what we're talking about. It's best we take you to a fine ass place. We take his goddamn Mandarin uh, orange or or, just, or or or, or uh, some out. nice spot. Shit, right. you're gonna do some, some. But here's the thing: I think <laughs> the bigger the bigger reason why guys will sit here and say like, "Oh, let's go Dutch on the third date." It this goes is what guys are saying. Yeah, guys. Because that's what the women have said. No, so see, so hear me out. Hear me out. It's because what you just said. It's because what you just said. Because the reason we think that is okay. If I'm now three, four, five dates in, mm-hmm. and I ain't got shit to show for it, mm-hmm. now I'm sitting here saying, okay, she got X amount of dates left. And what that means is you are you're, you are now on a timer. You got three, four, two, three, no, four more you, dates. Was, oh, hold on. Let me finish. Come on. Let me finish. Come on. I'm going to break it down for you. Yeah. So I'm sitting here saying, okay, you got like two, three, four, two, two or three dates left. Yeah. And then he says two or three dates. <laughs> We not we not doing no progressing. We still having a regular ass conversation. Yeah. We still doing day one shit. Yeah. Then I'm gonna go pack my bag and go somewhere else. Yeah. Because there's gonna be another bitch who's gonna be off the first dinner date. I'm gonna be in that bitch going crazy. Yeah. I'm, I'm wasting money here. Yeah. Right. So You're five dates in and y'all haven't progressed from day one. She's not feeling you. Exactly. So I'm gonna keep these meals. Right. right. Yeah. So if you but if you hey if you pull up and say you know I'm gonna pay. Uh, date number three. You might fuck around and get ten dates. Who? If a woman says I'm gonna pay date three, <laughs> you might fuck around and get ten. <laughs> right? You no. might get ten. No, I'm gonna tell you get why. ten because, because I showed you get, a proper you should, interest in you. Because you I showed a proper and not because I went in my pay. No, you got it right. That's exactly no. what they know. No, because, because it's I showed proper service. interest it's the service. to you, it's and the I was service. probably leaned in and gave you a little touch, or probably gave you uh-huh. a little hand. And when you went ahead and paid that, and we went ahead and paid that fifty dollar bill, I did it. You I didn't do that. Pay that, I didn't bill, do that. You I showed the interest. You. I didn't do and that. And I'm going to go ahead and let, and let you slide. Mm-mm. Because Your you wallet. have shown that Your you wallet. actually trying to commit into this relationship <laughs> and trying to put some money in on this shit. As soon as I touched your hand from across the table, your wallet went wide open. Naturally, if a woman has no interest in you, Mm-hmm. She will show you that she has no interest in you, like you said. From like, it's just a regular conversation from the first date to the second date to the third date. By the third date, if we're having the same conversation style as the first date, we don't even want to sit closer. She doesn't even try to get any closer. Wow. You know, we we make up shit. See, you know, oh, see here's the thing. What you do? You gotta lean on him just a little bit. Absolutely. You gotta be a little bit. What you're looking at is like ideal. I'm as a guy. I t- so here's the funny thing to me: women will always neglect how a guy views 
their exact same actions. Mm -hmm. I'm sitting here explaining to you how everything that you're saying is what a woman would do and still not slide you shit after six, seven dates. Still not slide you shit, meaning money? Not going to slide you nothing. Not going to slide you money. Not going to slide you no pussy. Not going to slide you no top, extra time at the crib. She's not going to give you no kiss on, on them lips. None of that. But she'll lean in, she'll text you all this crazy shit. So you sitting here thinking like, oh, we progressing. So she but every leaned time in you and gave you a little nudge. She gave you a little nudge. You, but there's women who will play all of those games in person. Oh, but she ain't But she's not really about to do nothing. <laughs> <laughs> she just gonna be here because you could. You could. Oh, right, like yes, yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Opportunists, I'm right? Still not Women will use their body and use their looks as ways to move forward, as their as their um, way to progress a relationship, ways to progress their way through life, right? Men have to use money. That's 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 just point plain period how it is. And y'all both need a little bit of sense there because no, you don't need any common sense. Nah, sense. None of it. No, they ain't got to be common, but some bit of sense. No, some bit of sense. You say like, date six. I ain't kissed this woman. I should let her go. You would think. You would I'm think. explaining to you what is. The thing I is, mean, I'm, I'm explaining to you. And you know I'm not familiar. I know. No, that's I'm what I'm trying familiar. to tell you. You know I'm not familiar. Yep. I'm so I keep, see, I keep seeing people get played. What I'm saying is, is like, women, you have what you have your um, your final destination. As a guy, I final destination woman is to get in the bed with her. Right? As a woman, it's her yeah. to try to get that come up. In whatever way, shape, or form that is. I just thought we wanted to get married. Just walk down the aisle. Bullshit. One and a half kids, No. Little pick, white picket. There might, be a, there might be a girl like that, but that might not be the girl you necessarily run into. Mm-hmm. Okay. And usually, the girl who run, who you run into who wants to actually be married will show, will kind of, and that's just nowadays, tell you up front, um, this is what I'm trying to do. Okay. Because a lot of women are kind of being, or telling each other, telling themselves, like, you gotta be upfront with what you want because you, if you don't ask for what you want, you're not gonna get what you want. That's a very true sentence. If you approach the relationship and say, I wanna find a mate that I'm trying to get married to, that I'm trying to have kids by, and you approach a nigga who you're talking to and you give them that that kind of like, here are my marching orders in that sense, here's what I'm trying to achieve, then you weed out those who aren't trying to do that because guys who aren't trying to get married not even gonna talk to you. Sorry, microphone. Not gonna talk to you. Um, Whereas the guys who are like, eh, let me see if I can finesse and lie about it mm-hmm. and see if I can make it. Now that's on you. Now you have to sit there and say, like, is this guy really trying to get related? Like, is he doing the steps or whatever? You more likely can weed them out if you are smart, like you said. Just like as a guy, you have to figure out, is this girl really fucking with me or is she fucking with my bank account? So I'm not, I'm not tell you what I actually do. Offer it, especially if I do something that makes a lot of money. I might say, "Oh, you know, I just do IT." I'm not gonna tell you, "Oh, I run this IT branch for this company." Because I tell you, I run an IT branch for this company. Now, this date that we're on, that might be at, at uh, Red Robin. Now, suddenly, it doesn't seem interesting because now you're like, "Huh? If he does IT for them, then he gotta make some kind of money." I just, I just, I just, I just, okay, okay. You know? Yeah, I'm just because it's a different group of women. Right, mm-hmm. because you got to remember a lot of these hoes nowadays. Yeah, these are hoes. These are hoes nowadays. Type of women. Yeah. Right, right. Because the most of them leave with their amount, by the way. Right. Yes. Most guys will leave because nine times out of ten, that's the thing that matters. As we we watched the clip before we started this pod, um, where the guy in said, "Look, if ladies, you went to a fortune teller, guy told you in five years." Your nigga that you fucking with right now gonna be an alcoholic, gonna be broke, not gonna be able to take care of no kids, gonna have debt to his eyeballs. Would you stay with him? Yeah, we're gonna run. No, you're gone. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you're, you're right. Gone. Because yes. once you know if that man is not stable. Yes. Oh, shit. Everybody. Everybody going bald, you know? Oh, Lord. Everybody start to fall out? Yeah, it's like it's too many. It's too many factors. There's too many factors. You got no money to, like, put them in rehab. Like, yeah. Yeah. No, no. So, like, you would be concerned if a guy's earning potential or a guy's ability to create security was not going to be, it was going to be non-existent. Yeah. So, you're looking for a guy who's secure, so you can look for a guy who has money. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Right? Guys who make money understand that they're desirable because they make money. A lot of guys also understand that if I'm not making money, then I have to have something else crazy that's going to mitigate the fact that I don't have any money. 
And it might be finding a girl who's dumb enough to just take words, mm-hmm. a girl who's mm-hmm. who's really a- attracted to looks, because you could be a really good looking guy, or you find a girl who's desperate. Mm-hmm. You find a girl who, who has had shitty relationships with guys who were worse than you, and all you have to do is play a little bit better than them. How many women have sat there and said, <laughs> oh, uh, at least I don't, I don't beat you like he did. Yeah. I don't cut you out like he used yeah. to. Yeah. But yeah, you don't cuss her out like he used to, mm-hmm. but you disrespect her all the same. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. You just don't verbalize it. What you do is just look at her and stay when she says something that you don't like mm-hmm. and it roll your eyes. I mean, disrespect is disrespect. It's disrespect regardless. Yeah, so whether but, or not you But he'll sit there and say, at least I didn't cut you out like yeah. he did. Yeah. And you, as a woman, women, some women will sit there and go, well, yeah, he's right. He mm-hmm. don't cuss me like, I, like the other guy did. Mm-hmm. And that is an improvement. Like, that's better than. That's better than. Yeah. So therefore, that's okay. That's also the desperate woman, though. Yeah. That's so the that's the, woman. Guy, but that's the guy who's that way is going to find a woman who's desperate. Mm-hmm. He's not going to find a woman who's strong, independent, and strong, whatever. By the way, if you're strong and independent, don't ever leave with that. No guy's attracted to strong and independent naturally. I'm just vocalize that. I'm just... I'm just if you are just <laughs> you come here with the fucking black power fist, like, you know, I'm, I'm strong, independent, black woman. I don't need no man. Then don't leave with that. Don't leave with that. I... I... I want to say most of us understand the damsel in distress. <laughs> like, please, please. You got to need them just a little bit. Just a little something, something. You would think Come so. Come on. Yeah. yeah. Because guys prefer to feel like they're needed. Yeah. Yes. Even when they act like they don't feel like doing it. Yeah. yeah. That's mm-hmm. a very true statement. Because one yeah. thing we don't want, we don't want an alpha woman. Alpha men does not do not want uh, alpha women because it's like, <laughs> it's almost face. like look at my face. Like, ah. but, but it's almost like we, we don't we don't want to have two dicks fight. We don't have a dick fight in there talking about you put your strap on, I take mine, we strap each other. Say no, that's not sexy. No, yeah. no. I think, <laughs> I think the bigger thing is not to say <laughs> not to say that you don't want an alpha woman. I don't want a woman that's constantly going to fight me for everything. Like oh, if you God. believe you have the better some idea for be needing thing. to be fought, yeah. I'm just, There's some things that you wouldn't need to fight. I'm just saying, I'm just gonna put it out there for my women, who, you know, be having yeah. fight on, yeah. Mm-hmm. Sometimes you would have to fight, yeah. Yeah. right? But it can't be everything, and it can't yeah. be all the time. Like just because you believe this is how something should be done, mm-hmm. just like you won't want your man to sit there and be like, "Why? Why are you wash my clothes that way? You should be washing it this way." If you wash your clothes, you might like, motherfucker. At least I'm washing the clothes. Mm-hmm. I cannot wash clothes. You raggedy ass nigga, you can just do it just the way yourself. You know what I mean? Yeah, like, yeah. You would be frustrated if so, you're providing a service for someone and they tell you, oh, yeah, that's cool that you did it, but let me tell you how I would want you to do the service for me. Like, or you can just do it yourself. Mm-hmm. You just do it yourself because you're going to yeah. get frustrated if somebody yeah. keeps correcting yeah. you to do it's it. It's like, how many things are you going to go out of your way to make sure somebody does it? Your version of, like, right. Right. Your version of right. Yeah. Exactly. And the toilet seat situation, yeah, there is not like a R version of right. The toilet seat is closed once it's clean. Okay. Just for the record. Let, let me say this to you. <laughs> that's Folks, one of the great I, I, debates. But you're absolutely right, but <laughs> let, let me tell you, that's based on upbringing. I was brought up basically outside my grandfather's women. Mm-hmm. So for me, I knew that, oh, okay, when you finish, first of all, you put both seats up and you, you know, you put both seats down yeah. because you've heard the splash thing like put the goddamn seat that's on and fall in the toilet now of course me I'm like why the fuck are you just walk in there and turn the light on and put the toilet seat down anyway no why well, well, that, how do you walk into a bathroom and not even look at where you can put your ass I, like how do you walk into any location go to sit down on anything in the world and not at least look at where you're about to sit but I think like the most important part to that debate battle whatever we want to call it mm-hmm. like is it that important in your household to keep bringing that shit up Right, like, at what point do you just like don't care? Nah, bitch, just put your own toilet. Yeah. You know, like you literally got to pick and choose your battles. Yeah, right? like you just oh, literally got to pick and cho- like because they're all not that serious. No, right? it really they're isn't. All not oh, God. that serious. No, like as long as he's not peeing on the floor, you know what? Let me put the toilet seat down for him. Yeah, that's some aggravating like, shit. Motherfucker, yeah. piss on the floor, and I'm like, motherfucker, peeing all over the place. But you know, you ain't close to the toilet seat. At some point, like you got to just get over certain things. Like just carry on. Like okay, I guess I'm the. You know, my role in the household is to make sure the toilet seats are closed. Exactly. I'm okay with that. My One of my jobs is to also make sure the lights are off. Mm-hmm. I know what's not my job is to make sure the door is locked. That's never going to be my job. Uh, nope. I'll tell you it's- what also is not my job is to grab the bat and go forward when the burglar comes in. I go 
backwards. <laughs> yes. I go to the rear. Yeah. You go forward to the burglar, and I go, yeah, I stay secure. Now, what would happen, <laughs> what would you do if your husband, you turn around and you run to the back and say, oh, my God, got, in, got into the closet. He right beside you talking about the what's going on. <laughs> like, stop, playing. <laughs> stop playing with me. Excuse me. <laughs> Sir, he's in here. <laughs> I saw a, uh, a post on Reddit. I saw a post on Reddit actually this week. A girl was saying how she broke up with her ex-boyfriend recently uh, because they got pulled off. Uh, they got out of a car. They had, they had a car parked in like an alleyway or something. Some homeless guy came with a screwdriver. They got the car and was like, hey, give me your money. Right? So she's looking at him at the, the homeless guy with the screwdriver like, oh shit, like, boyfriend, what you about to do? She looked at this nigga is hauling ass down <laughs> the street. Hi. Full speed. Sweating. <laughs> She's like, where the hell is he going? <gasps> so he dips. So the guy robs her. So she walks down to the end of the, the walkway and sees cops. Uh-huh. So they catch him like five, ten minutes later. Catch the, the homeless dude. So he gets arrested. They get her money back. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. So she's looking for a boyfriend, can't find this man. Calls him, didn't answer. Two hours later, calls him back, saying, "Look, I finally found the cops. So I'm just trying to figure out, like, you know, you, you good?" She's like, "Motherfucker, the cops were right at the end of the street. Like, <laughs> you, you ain't running to nobody. I'm at the police station now, getting that guy booked and telling him the story. Where are you? Oh, see, look, I just panicked. I ain't gonna hold you." I saw screw. I saw him pull out something. I didn't know what it was, but I was just trying to find out, so I did. <laughs> and God I said, damn! Like, you know, in that moment, you found that you picked wrong. But I feel Very like wrong. I mean, you absolutely yeah, you picked that awful. You that was your fault. You gave your body up to somebody who was not willing to give any parts of that. They even created a diversion. Oh yeah, he couldn't miss <laughs> through his he, body down or do something at him and shit. Do something at the man. He Fuck. did nothing. Uh, he looked at her and he said, did. "See, your self- no." What he said was, "Look, your self preservation instincts are off." When you saw me chop, you had to be chopping with me. Yeah. <laughs> like, it's too late. When I started running, you was, you was too late. You should have run with me. <laughs> that's, that's, that's that boyfriend shit, though. That'll get you killed. But but see, again, that's the kind of guy, boys, or fuck motherfuckers that a lot of women get. And, but they try, again, we go back to previous stuff. You try to change them. If a motherfucker show you he that weak, he ain't gonna change that night. I mean, it's more than, it's not, to me, it's like, being a level of being weak or not weak, why would he have to be strong for her? Can you imagine somebody coming through threatening his mother? He, he like, Oh, he going to kill it, everybody. I mean, for real, like you don't understand how you're going to respond when you feel threatened or the people you care about feel threatened. See, a man who care about you and who is invested in you mm-hmm. and you put into him, so he know that you invested into him also? Hmm. Oh, no. Somebody walk up on you. It's like you walking up on both of us. Yeah, you walking up on the family. Yeah, we're, like, we're all... like, hold on. No, nah, she's worth a whole lot here. You can't threaten her because I need her. She's worth a lot. Absolutely. I'm going to have to defend her because she's worth something. Yes, you have to. A- again, my... Like, my... So it's, it's not like you changing somebody in order to like defend your honor. It's either you're worth something to that person or you're not. Girl. And you can't give yourself up to people who you're not worth nothing to. Oh. That's the God problem. Damn. The problem is not that you weren't worth nothing to them. That's okay. Technically, we're not going to be worth much to most people. Yeah. Like keeping it a hundred. That's true. That's very true. But the people that you do decide to lay down your body with, hmm. and then you realize, oh, shit, I have real life ain't worth shit to that person. Why? Like, that's the fucked up part. But why does it take so goddamn long? Something happened way before you get to that point. He told you he don't rock with you. But you still fuck with him? No. We're, they we're... show you. Better than they gonna tell you, cause We're you know they lie through the words, to f- baby. You know y'all lie know through the words. No, for a fact. But you, them you actions, people out there, I'm gonna tell y'all. Y'all know that what I'm about to say. Men's actions will always show you who oh, yeah. they're about. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. I'm always, I, and as a guy, I always tell you, I've been the most concerned about the guy who has the right thing to say at all times. Yep. The guy who can tell you the right thing at all times is usually the nigga who has had to live his whole life 
talking his way out of shit. Yep. Or talking his way or talking into, his way into shit. shit. Uh-huh. Instead of actually doing things to get where they want to go. They've had to, to vocalize it. Uh-huh. And if you're a talker. Yeah. If you, have, if you can talk, talk your way in and out of locations, that's cool. That's an advantageous person to have on a team. Mm-hmm. If you're like, oh, I need to get somewhere. Point A, I can take that guy with me. Yeah. Yeah. But that's not the guy I would ever push my sister to, oh, no. my best friend to. Mm-hmm. I'm like, no, that nigga yeah. trash. I know he's trash because he has to talk his way everywhere. Yeah. He, ain't, he ain't let the finger to do nothing. Nope. He ain't never had a fight to do nothing. He ain't never had to stand on his own to, to do nothing. Because he uses words his whole life to try to get around and try to assuage people, mm-hmm. make people feel better about mm-hmm. themselves so he ain't got to deal with, nah, because that nigga a bitch. Mm-hmm. And he will always keep telling you stuff that benefits him. He will keep telling you things and keep you this, this carrot dangling and talking mm-hmm. about, girl, you know what? We, we got three kids together. To to yeah, uh-huh. we got three kids now. And, and you know, we, you, you bought a house and I'm driving your car and you bought me these clothes. But you know what? Girl, just hang in there. One day I'm going to get you that ring. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to look for I'm, I'm, I got to get a special ring for you. I just can't get any old ring. I could go Zales or, or, or some fake place like that. I got to get you a good one. You know, I'm saving up for it. So in your head, like, oh, bro, I'm going to get you the wow. ring of, of the a woman of your caliber deserves. There, there you go. There you go. Mm-hmm. And that keeps you going. Somebody on this bitch right now sitting here hearing that thing. Somebody, that nigga told me that last week. <laughs> somebody said. Somebody exactly. said when you rock with somebody, you got to be willing to accept them exactly where they at for the right now. So what can ring can you afford for the right now? And am I willing to accept you for that? What job do you have for the right now? Am I willing to accept you for that job right now? What health concerns and conditions do you have for the right now? And is that good enough? More than, you know, is that okay? Is it good enough? Is it good enough? Yeah. But that's dependent upon you as the yeah. woman. Yeah, and a lot of times we don't tell ourselves the truth. You know, you go without or you subsidize the stuff that you want. And that's why a lot of times that we work. You know, you work to get the stuff that you wanted the man to get for you. But exactly. because, you know, he didn't. And so you're going to get it. You have yeah, to get you know, it. You, you want it. And so you're like, you know what? I sacrificed my own self, my own time. Because I know what I'm doing with my time. I don't know what you about to be doing with your time. Yeah, working all that overtime and stuff, being busy. Yeah. So the women are fine when they go out working overtime and they away from home a whole lot. Just not okay with you out no, <laughs> too much. No, no. Because, again, um, if this guy is, if he's coming to this relationship, you know he's doing something big or mm-hmm. he's doing something. So you already know that, okay, he's that kind of guy. He's fit me in. So you kind of judge this, the time you may have available with him because of the nature of his job. Yeah. But if he a motherfucker that when you met him, he wasn't doing shit. He was trying to come on the come up or he working on that, but he looked good. Mm-hmm. And I, I always say that women look at the guys, oh, he look good, he look fine, and you, 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 it blinds you. It's almost like the, the shiny object. It's like you don't say, okay, let me put my glasses on. This motherfucker out here playing basketball at 2 o'clock on, on Tuesday afternoon and look like he ain't got no job to go to or nowhere to fuck. No, go. but they see the potential. And so it goes back to what mm. I said before. Women are a guy, a guy will look at a woman's past, and a woman will look at a guy's future. Mm-hmm. So when you think about women who always end up being upset about their relationships, always seem to be like down about how things ended. Nine times out of ten, they always say, "Oh, I like I believed he could. He had the potential to. Mm. I saw this in him." And it's like oh, you you're you're true. projecting what you believe can happen instead of just looking at what you is in front of you. Whereas a guy will sit there and say, "Okay, this is what's in front of me," but they won't accept that. They'll be like, "Well, how was she like before this?" Mm-hmm. And then you want to know, so you dig in, and then it's oh, what's your body count? Or like oh, wait, like you had this, or you did that, or you went here, or you did these things. And now I'm saying, thinking, well, damn, if I, you've done all the things I haven't even done that shit, I don't, what the fuck can I get her now? And now that you say that, producer, here's another thing women should never do. Don't put your motherfucking baby daddy on your body as a tattoo. There was a woman that came on, that bitch had like, you are this so young silly. lady That's number had a fucking tattoo of, of, I have to get this covered. It was a show, it was a, a coverage tattoo. <laughs> I had to cover that, because who's that? That's my baby daddy. And we thought we was gonna get married, and he left me. So she got a cover for that. This, oh, here's a, here's my other kids falling back my back. So she covered that with a bird. And I said, Why <laughs> the fuck would you put somebody who? No, can- because there's a song. <laughs> 
It's so Damn. funny show because there's a song. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there's a song about uh, Rick Ross and Drake called Free Spirit. And literally, the first lyric is tap my name on you, girl, so I know it's real. <laughs> wow. <laughs> So how wow. Yeah, niggas have been saying exactly what I'm saying. That song, yeah. song as an example of like people yeah. have been saying that for years. I mean, it's a. Uh, I mean, I'm not going to advise women not to do that. That's their business. And yeah, we got laser removal and we got the tattoo covers and we got you know your best tattoo artist near you <laughs> for all your you know. Oopses. <laughs> Oopses that life has to offer. Because I'm, here's the reality is that people get crazy tattoos that they regret. Men do it too. Men yep. get weird tattoos, crazy sayings on their bodies that they later regret. And the heart feel how the heart feel when the heart is feeling like that. But can I say this? Yeah, go ahead. With can it. you put your, your kids never going to leave you. Your kids, women, nah, are never going to leave you. Nah, They're going to be there forever. Nah, so you can put a little Tay Tay on your body nah, or a little Lele on your body. Nah, I ain't putting no kid name up on my body. Right? They never, nah. they, for that man, that man. Oh, yes. Lord. What happens when he yes. leaves you? What happens when he leaves yes. you? Yes. Who leaving who? When who? he leaves you. With, Come on, man. I need, I need the best tattoo makeup artist to cover it up now. Damn, man. I thought he was going to be forever. I swear he was going to be my forever guy. I, I, I mean, listen, the way it was going, it was nothing but like yes. fireworks and just like, yeah. Absolutely. Yeah, storks all in the air, over all the place. It was just beautiful. beautiful. I, mean, I, don't, just, I don't even know how we got here. But we're here. I, I, I mean, listen, the laser removal. I don't know what to tell you. But it's funny you said that because, again, another thing I saw uh, was a guy got his I think I've shown you this. The guy got him and his girl went to go get matching tattoos. His name was on her name on him and his name on her. Mm-hmm. So he got his tattoo first. Finished that bitch. He's like, all right, cool. Hop on tail. She's like, I don't think I'm going to do it today. He said, what you mean you're not going to do it today? She's like, I don't, I don't feel like doing it today. I'm like, what you mean? We're here now. <laughs> remember, you. this is your idea. You said, let's get, I don't remember saying that. Wow. I remember you saying that you was that you was thinking about it. No, we had this whole conversation coming here that you were going to get my name and I was going to get your name. I got your name, so you really not going to get my name right now? I, 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 I'm going to get it, just not today. I was going to get him. Like, she saw that. I was like, mm, that's like a dumbass idea. I'm going to say, like, if that's... Like, if y'all going to get... My thing is, if you're going to get a tattoo of somebody's name, y'all better be doing that shit at the exact same time. Y'all better be sitting next to each other. So and y'all he be, said we need two artists. We yes. have two artists at the party. exact same time yeah. doing it. It's as not no as No, yeah. not one the other. Because no. then what happens is somebody can bail out. At least if we do it concurrently and you decide to stop, guess what? I can stop too. Perfect. We can stop as a unit. Yeah, and what that initial I mean, was, that's I, mean, it is. I can keep it pushing, right? But like, when y'all do one after the other, that gets the other person too much time to think. You gotta, you gotta commit to that shit. Getting cold. <laughs> <laughs> like, do I really want Anastasia on my neck? But, but look what you just said. Look what we were all, what all of us just said. Some people are willing to get a tattoo in their body, but not a ring on their finger. Well, yeah, because one doesn't interfere with your money. <laughs> not the one that. <laughs> And it's, and it's just like <sighs> one's more permanent and one once costs more paperwork like I said you know you just get a nice little bird covered over that name you know what's the name give me a name I'll give you a tattoo to cover it uh, uh, Tony that's Tony. a bird That's a, you can see the little beak at the top you know for the T and then the little Y that's a little ring that's a flat <laughs> yeah. that's a bird or a butterfly dragonfly anything that, with little flaps yeah that, that's that, true and that's over the weekend but you I, can get that covered. But so, God damn. so the idea that some people, or the idea that we used to get tattoos because it was super permanent, right? Mm-hmm. It was super permanent, and then even when you used to get them covered on top, you could still, if you paid attention, you, you could can still, still see it. Get yeah, get you it. Can, I hear that. But totally. nowadays, <laughs> the tattoo artists. Oh, they're they're they're, they're are artists. They are true artists. This that's just beautiful. That name not even there no more. You, and in fact, you can put, you, you barely may see, but you're not even trying to say, what is it? Because mm-hmm. the artwork on top is so beautiful. Yeah, and then the um the laser removals, they used to leave like little scars or residuals. I don't think they do that now either. Damn. So, 
Yeah, I mean, people, that, that's fair game. That's your business. I mean, I, uh, if we still doing tramp stamps and removing those and covering those up. <laughs> but I you mean, know, <laughs> you brought up tramp stamps. I, personally, that's women beautiful. When I see a man with a tramp stamp, <laughs> <laughs> I was like, bruh, you got a tramp stamp on? I look at him like, mm. But why? I always thought tramp stamps, it, tramp stamps as a woman thing. No, but why did he have it? That's what I'm asking. Oh, I, I don't know why he got it. No, I, 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 I always want to ask, but I, nah, I, I don't want to know that bad. just assume. Hmm. Yeah, that's crazy. Yeah, it, it really Damn. is. It, it's... See, I wouldn't talk about tramp stamps, <laughs> but like Brock Lesnar got a tramp stamp. And I don't know if y'all know Brock Lesnar. Brock Lesnar was a UFC heavyweight champion. Oh. And... Uh, Ain't nothing about that nigga is soft. No, so, no, no. Okay. Hey, so hey, I saw that nigga like? with him. I figured I'd just keep my mouth shut. He big dude. He a big no, gigantic is, man. No, what does the the tattoo look like? What's it's, a man's it's, it's text. It's words. I don't know what it actually says though. Yeah. It's three words. I don't know what it is though. Off the top of my head. Yeah, I don't think it's kiss my ass and like that. I think it's. I don't like it. I'm about to, <laughs> I'm about to do a little further investigation on yeah, it. Yeah, we're going to find out what, yeah. what that is and, and find it for next time. But mm-hmm. it's just certain things like that. It's like people want to do permanent shit, some permanent shit, mm-hmm. but not other permanent shit. Well, no, the first permanent stuff is opening up your body to people, which is very easy to do. And oh. it happens on. Like that's permanent. Yes. Like we said, if you run into somebody, get blasted in the past, I don't care if y'all lay down with each other once. You know, you out with your lady friend or y'all with your guy friend, you be with your family. You know, that person that you took all your clothes off with going to be looking at you weird and be like, hey, how you doing, girl? Yes. How you been? <laughs> yes. Where your husband at? You the, still married? The, like, yeah, you still you, married? Yeah. <laughs> all the girl come around, she, how you doing? How does your family? How you there you, you go. Don't play with me. You about to yeah, cut. I mean, the person that you laid down, you forever had laid down with that person. Mm-hmm. You can't really undo it. Mm-mm. Y'all Mm-mm. always gonna be connected on some version, some level. Yeah, like, this no is true. No matter what. Uh, that's just very true. You can pretend like it didn't happen. Nobody knew about it, type of thing. Which y'all run into each other. Oh, you remember who that is? Yeah, you do. You know exactly who that is. So it is permanent. And yeah. I, and I love how we pretend like it's not. Well, I think if people do it just to make themselves feel good. Yeah, they, especially the women. Oh, you, but you have like to. They can operate like the men. I, uh, I mean, I'm, I'm just having a good time. Like, what? How? You just received them. Ew. Yes, you just you have taken in his even seed. Even if it's not, you ain't even taken in his seed. His bacteria, his everything. What? Huh? Oh, God damn. But, you have, but think about it. You <laughs> have to normalized. tell it to yourself. To make yourself feel good because you say I've done like sixty dudes. Yeah, like, that's a lot of that's a lot of dudes. I'm okay with that. Broke, still. Yeah, it God. never makes sense. Yeah, I don't know how the hell you had sixty dudes ain't got nothing to show for. I guess none of them went to work. <laughs> oh, God damn! And now you're the same chick that says I want to find that good guy because I know I got I I know I can I can. I can put it on them, and 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 because some reason they always think they, they they have something special that's gonna just this spell that's gonna just overtake this poor guy. He's gonna marry you, the make pussy you right. Spell. Yeah, the, the GPYs, okay. the good pussy, good pussy. Okay. He is. Okay. But then you don't realize that there is did an you put expiration date. Yeah. Did he do it? Did it work? No. Did the spell not work? Okay. No, because you got a couple kids and a lot of bodies. Oh, what? Yeah, but nothing else. But the spell still broke. You need to get your money back. Can't get it gone. No, damn that. Uh-uh. Gone. Who sold that spell? <laughs> <laughs> Reverend Ike did. Reverend Ike and all these other fake ass healers, but that's another story. Mm-hmm. But <laughs> it, it sacrifice. How much do you sacrifice for happiness? How much should you sacrifice for happiness? I mean, it just it it should be a good balance. It mm-hmm. should be a good balance, right? Because mm-hmm. I wake up at times that I don't necessarily want to wake up, mm-hmm. right? For that proper balance to get my kids up, to make sure I can properly feed them, make sure I can properly feed myself, clothe myself. I don't feel like getting up in the mornings. Mm-hmm. But I sacrifice that time and do what I have to do in order to make sure at the end of the day, I went to work, I was productive, my children had food, mm-hmm. you know, they were able to go to school. Mm-hmm. I provided. Absolutely. Right? I did what was necessary so at the end of the day, 
We do the things that we must do and make sure that we're happy at the end of the day, happy with food in our stomach, roof over our head. Yeah. Yes. Offer sacrifices. I don't make it like a crap time. My whole life is not, you know, a, a sacrifice, you know. Absolutely. But you do wake up every morning and make small sacrifices for your happiness. Absolutely. Exactly. And I think some people don't realize – some people take it to the extreme. Some people think you have to sacrifice yourself, like throw yourself on a fire and become, you know, some sort of deity or whatever to show people, I sacrifice everything. Nobody cares about that. Yeah. What you need to do is sacrifice enough that the person you're with, that you're both sacrificing for each other yeah. as a unit. Not, I'm just going to show them what I can do. Or I'm going to be a sacrificial lamb. That's stupid. Yeah, you can't bear the burden of it all. No. And then hold up like a trophy yes right like oh i went to work i cooked i cleaned i took care of the kids i did all the laundry i made dessert i did you know i mowed the lawn and you know i did i did everybody's hair and you know reupholstered the furniture why why for who for what for purpose who and for why and, and that's that's the issue because a yeah. lot of people do it just to make them show the world look what i did yeah. but the world doesn't care it doesn't, and we we t- today's woman seems to be over exerting herself inside the household because the children aren't doing much, mm-hmm. right? Mm-hmm. It used to be that the children could not move about a household a certain type of way mm-hmm. because man, you'd be slapped into next week. Absolutely, right? she would be. And you started to groom the children to maintain the household so that the sacrifice that mom would make to tend to the household Mm -hmm. it was not as burdensome anymore and when we start taking that balance off you realize that man we took the balance off a lot of stuff out here what are we doing what are we doing it's like the very idea when we circle right back around to you know you being a married couple you have a man who needs to show up to work and like granted you and your feelings a few times Mm-hmm. But what, at what point do you become comfortable with the sacrifices that are necessary for the relationship? Because Absolutely. ultimately, that's what you that's what you're there for. Mm-hmm. It's for the relationship to grow, to thrive, so that that relationship can feed into the both of you all and the family that you created. Exactly, because you're 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 sacrificing to build your roots. Because uh-huh. you're this is not this is not something that's going to pass. Because you're saying the two of us are going to be a unit, so we have to establish our roots. So you have to sacrifice yep. to establish the roots. So that means you may have to pull some, some days you may have a little bit more than, more, more water than I have. Yep. So that means you have to pull, pull a little, a little more bit I more. Yeah. But it, we're still going for the, the tree. The tree Absolutely. is still our tree. But Absolutely. we have to do what we need to do to make sure that we get to the next level. Absolutely. You know, so with that information that we're giving you peoples, this is another I gotta say a very interesting conversation on this podcast because people really don't understand what sacrifice really is. And I think we just want you to think about what you're doing and why you're doing it and have a reason for it. Not just do it because it sounds good or you, you're trying to impress someone. As we say, impress yourself, impress mm-hmm. your kids. But a man or woman don't do that. It's not. It, it never is going to end up well for you. So, what do you think about that, producer? Uh, let's be better. And um, uh, yeah, just honestly be better. Like, I, we can we can talk about this till the cows come home. Be here for another hour. And at the end of the day, a lot of y'all people still going to do what the fuck you going to do. And all of what we saying is just going to be a fun listen to on the ride to work or whatever. But. Y'all gotta live your life, and I know my life is fucking beautiful. And I wake up every day and I smile, and I'm happy with the decisions I made. And the rest of us on this pod are happy with the decisions we made. So if you don't do it, don't give a fuck what we got to say about it. I mean, you gotta live your life. So if you want to keep living miserable, pain ass existences, by all means, go for it. Like I, I. <laughs> I'm gonna be good regardless. You know what I mean? Like Absolutely. I don't, I don't have to live yeah. your life. Yeah. So that's that, that's what I gotta say about it. So what you gotta say to end this, uh, Miss T? I think ultimately we need to slow down, right? Pay attention yeah. to um, someone more than just yourself. Yeah. And what the other person, um, and how the other person is internalizing the world. 
because what ends up happening um while we feel like we sacrifice in ourselves we forget that other people too have gave given some bit of a sacrifice also Absolutely. and sometimes we just kind of care about ourselves and feel the weight that we're bearing mm -hmm. and don't even pay attention to the weight of your significant other um but more than that also don't forget your children that you know live inside your household also they make small sacrifices that are very important to them that they feel and those things also need to be respected also god damn that's beautiful mm -hmm. that's absolutely beautiful and you know people's good information better listen to this shit try to make your life better so and as the producer said just do goddamn better we say it all the time do fucking better you know and with that we're going to end this episode on the mic with the M. Auntie. Peoples, hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, hit the bell so you can get all the new podcasts that's coming out. And until next time, peace and blessings.